General, you saw my reports. You know it's not my fault. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. If I had been given drow warriors instead of goblin trash. Oi. What? You scrag. Enough. A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. Let me make sure I understand this. You're claiming that General Thorne gave you the wrong soldiers. Yes. No! You blame the Absolutes chosen for your failure. Of course it is not the General's fault. Whose then? into Minthara's mind while all her attention is focused on saving her own skin. You can feel her guilt everywhere, writhing and churning. All it takes is one little push. Mime! It's... It's my fault. I failed you, my lord. Please forgive me. Guilty then, my lord? I gave you this command because I saw something in you. Your efficiency, ruthlessness, your killer's instinct. I treasured them all. But honesty, remorse, these are no use to me. Night Warden Minthara, your crime is incompetence, and your sentence is death. No! Make her passing slow, Disciple Zorel. Be creative. A new true soul come to share their wisdom. Happy as I would be to kill her here, Disciple Zarel asked for this honor long ago. Take her below. No! Please! Mercy! Please! Bye-bye, <laughs> princess. Kill the goblins, too. mind is a steel trap, but you cautiously ease your way in. You just need to shift her focus a little. I'm being unkind. Anyone might have struggled with such imperfect tools. Goblins are prone to failure. Yes. It's the goblin's fault. They failed you, General. Not me. General? Take Minthara below. Someone will have to consider her fate. No! Please! Mercy! Please! Bye-bye, <laughs> princess. And the goblins, General. You, true soul. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies, isn't that so? What is your judgment? You! Me old mate that saved me from the tieflings! Enough! True soul, tell the general how the goblins served our cause. Faith without action is anemic, sickly, in a word, useless. We are too close to the ending and the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them quickly. What? No! You creaking old 
bag of shit! <laughs> I'm so sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. soul to use. You have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, my lord. Thank you. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. They are yours. You can release them, kill them, or feed them to each other for all I care. Just deal with them. Here, in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. You wouldn't hurt me, would you? We're mates, me and you. Practically family. Regret this! Praise the absolute! Your merciful streak will be the death of us one day. Let's hope Zarel won't be too angry. The seat of the absolute's power, occupied by a general that cannot be killed. But his followers are flesh and blood. We must learn what fuels his power. The over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. You wouldn't hurt me, would you? We're mates, me and you. Practically family. No! Please! Absolute's power, occupied by a general that cannot be killed. But his followers are flesh and blood. We must learn more about his power. You were adored, Minthar. Brought up from the darkness and into the Absolute's light. She cherished you, but it wasn't enough. You were distracted by your own desires. Bloodlust, murder, chaos. And most damning of all, an inability to follow orders. I obeyed to the best of my ability. And isn't that depressing? You are nothing. Minthara's mind connects with yours. Not strong as you remember it, but fractured, disintegrating. Come to observe, true soul. She is a lesson. None can rise so high that they cannot fall again. She will not be utterly destroyed. What is useful shall remain. None of you will break me! Wrong! Thara. 
How do you feel? Ecstatic. Devoted. Inspired. Excellent. A job well done, sister. For the absolute. For the absolute. I serve the absolute. You were adored, Minthar. She Minthar. Come to observe, true soul. She is a lesson. None can rise so high that they cannot fall again. We are erasing her. Observe the true soul's methods. Perhaps we can learn from them. Her mind is yours. Break it. Immediately, your mind is swept into a greater vortex. A psionic storm with Minthara at its center. Cannot hide, submit, embrace. Her torturers are not dominating her. They are destroying her mental defenses and exposing her to something else. The Absolute. Navigating the storm, you reach the nexus of her mind. It is a wound, bleeding raw emotion and shattered memories. But she senses your arrival. So it is you who will end me. Make it swift, then. Anything to silence that thing. <gasps> that voice. prefer to make these bastards bleed. But I trust that you speak from caution rather than cowardice. I will put my faith in you and pretend to be their slave. Her mind fills with warmth and she gently releases you. Is it done? I did not feel her mind break. She does look a little vacant, sister. No more anger. No more doubt. She is perfect. We ought to return to our posts, sister. There'll be plenty more prisoners to practice on. <laughs> an ill thing to let an enemy show their back and live. Lead them. I last left Moonrise as a commander in the Absolute's army, obeying the voice of a god. I thought I had found a home and a purpose. Now I leave as an exile. 
But you risked your life to rescue me. For that, I am grateful. The artifact connects with her, pulling your minds together and showing her all that you have seen. The prism, your dream visitor, the protection that keeps you from obeying the absolute and becoming a lithid. She knows it all in a moment. Her mind reels, but is no longer clouded. She accepts the truth. She has no choice. There is much we must discuss. Do you have a safe place to camp nearby? Goodbye for now. I will see you soon.